While the coup in Niger and the resulting airspace shutdown has been distressing for many, Ghana's aviation industry appears to be benefiting from these circumstances. The closure of Niger's airspace means that airlines must avoid that particular airspace, in addition to avoiding Sudan and Libya, which are trouble spots already. So a lot of detours are happening. Airlines flying from, let's say, Europe to West Africa have to make some few detours and then come through Ghana to connect, let's say, Nigeria, some countries in Central Africa, and in Southern Africa. Interestingly, there are indications that the situation is leading to a positive impact on revenue due to increased demand. Every one of these aircraft pays a fee, and the exact fee you know, varies depending upon the size of the aircraft and the specific routing they're flying. But all in all, uh, you know, over the course of a month, this would be somewhere in the range of quarter million to half a million dollars extra for Ghana Civil Aviation Authority. Interestingly, the increased patronage of Ghana's airspace also raises concerns over whether the country's aviation regulator is adequately equipped to manage the heightened pressure. I must say that the air traffic controllers that we have now in Ghana, they are very specialized and they are highly skilled. The Accra Flight Information Region mainly was handled by Ghana from Gutka Airport here. However, though it's been divided into East and West, where we handle the Western part, our people here have been trained those in Lomel who handle the Eastern part. So our people are skilled enough to handle the load coming through us. In light of these developments, could this potentially create opportunities for Ghana's aviation industry as it moves forward? I don't think it's an opportunity as such. I mean, you know, geography is geography. So, you know, when the airspace is open, airlines are going to fly the shortest available route. It's just that right now with the conflicts happening in Niger, in Libya, in Sudan, uh, the shortest route right now takes them through Ghana airspace. The benefits of this to us is that we probably may need to fast track the decoupling of the air navigation function from the regulatory function that currently sits with the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority.